All right, so there's a few ways that you can embed a YouTube video on your WordPress post. I'd say probably the easiest way is to just go over here and click on this little plus button and click add block. And then if you guys don't see YouTube right here, you can just search it in right here. And then it'll just pop up. And if you click that, this is going to come up. And all you need to do is then go and select your link and copy it and you can paste it in right here and then click on embed and then that YouTube video is embedded in your post and then another way you can embed your YouTube video on your WordPress site is by going back to your video and then clicking on this share button and then you'll see right here there's the embed button if you click that and you copy this and you go back and then you can paste it in right here you guys don't even have to go over to the code editor even though it's a piece of code you can just paste it in right here and WordPress will automatically recognize it and now I'm gonna go over a few more basic WordPress tips and if you guys want to watch the full video you can go to my YouTube channel and you can check out my newest video here called WordPress for beginners step-by-step and that'll show you everything you need to know about using WordPress. And now I'm just going to make a couple changes and show you guys a few basic things. I'm going to switch the size of this right here. And I'm going to put this down to H3, heading 3, so it's a little smaller. And then I'm also going to bold it. And then I'm going to go down here and do the same thing to this one. Okay, now I just finished the last one here, and then I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to add a little bit of space between all these right here. So first I'm going to put some space in between this, and this is where we're going to get into the blocks. And if you see these little buttons right here, like this and like this, you'll notice if you just go down and you just put your mouse there, they'll just automatically pop up. And so I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to search for is called Spacer. And I'm going to click on that. And this is just going to give you some space in between your text. And over here is where you decide how much space you want. So just for this right here, I'm going to put this down to 10 actually. And then we got 10 pixels of space between that and then the actual content. And then I'm going to come down here. And on this one, I'm going to add a little more space. So I'm going to put this one to 25. Okay, as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference there. And do the same thing for this one, 10 here. And 25 here again. And then I'm going to do that for the rest of these ones too. Okay, so I just finished doing that. And another thing I wanted to show you guys too is if you're ever in the middle of a post and you just want to save it but you don't actually want to publish it and put it out all you have to do is come up here and click on save draft and then once you go to that post again it'll all be saved but it won't actually be published until you click the publish button here now the next thing i want to go over is how to put photos in your post and if you guys need any free photos any stock free images rather you can go to pixabay.com or here's another one called pexels.com. They have thousands of free stock photos you guys can use all for free. And that's actually where I got my images that I'm about to upload to this post right here. Now there's a few ways we can do this. If you go down here and click on this block and then you look up image, you'll see right here, you can just select an image and you can upload images or you can select them from your media library or you can insert from a URL and once you upload images they're automatically going to be put inside your media library so you could upload them each individually or you could do this which is go over here to media and you can go to your library right here and you can click on add new and you can select all the files that you want to just show up in your media library. And so all you have to do is go to wherever you saved your images, usually in downloads, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these images right here that I'm going to be putting in this post. And I'm just going to click on open. And as you can see right here, all of them are going to be uploaded. And now those are in my media library. So if I go back over here, actually, I'm going to click on save draft first. And then I'm going to refresh this page. And I'm going to scroll back down here and click on media library. And there's all my pictures right here. And so I'm just going to select the image that I want for that. And then after that, click select. And you'll see it will pop up right here. And if you click on the image and then scroll down, you can do a few different things. You can change the size of it by going like this, clicking these. I'm going to set it to, eh, I think I'm going to set it to 75. And if you guys want to describe the image, you can just put it in right here. Like for example, this one, I would just type in Yellowstone. If you go up here, you can also click this and it will make the image rounded. Or you can just keep it default. I'm going to keep it default. Then I'm going to add a little bit of space in between that. Got my image and you can also go here and you can center it. Which I'm going to do right there. And then also if you guys ever want to make this image clickable so when people click on it it will send them to a different link you just make sure the image is selected and you click on this insert link right here and then you just paste your url in right here and then you click on the apply button and then anytime someone clicks that image it will take them to whatever link you put that you put in right here and then also if you want to write a caption down here could put in Yellowstone and that will be a caption right under it if you guys want to label it. Now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add the rest of the images down for these other ones right here. Okay so now I just finished adding in my last image here and I'm going to go back up and what we're going to do now is add our featured image for this post. And this is going to be the same way that we upload any images like these right here. It's the same thing. You just click on this. And then once you have it in your media library, or like I said before, you can just upload it. You just select your image, click set featured image, and that's it. And while you guys are working on your site, if you ever want to see your progress or just check out your post, all you have to do is click on preview and then click on this preview and new tab button and that will show you exactly what your post is going to look like so far and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a tag or some tags for this specific post here and usually what tags are just basically like i've said earlier in the video shows uh, search engines what this specific post is about so for example this one's called my top five favorite national parks i'm actually going to add that in right there and then you can, as it says right here, separate with commas or hit the enter key. I'm just going to hit enter and that's going to add that as a tag. So something else you might want to put, like for this one, I might just put in national parks or best national parks, stuff like that, that just basically describes your post here. And I'd recommend probably adding about maybe one to five different tags if you guys want to. Now we're going to add some categories to our website. And basically what this is for is just to categorize different posts that we might be writing about. So maybe in one post I'm talking about travel or the next post I'm talking about food. This way we'd be able to separate them into the respective categories. And if we go over here on our right sidebar, you'll see there's only one category right now. And this is the default one that WordPress puts in and it's the uncategorized category. So what we need to do is click on this add new category button. And this right here is where we're going to add them. So it's going to be different for everybody's website. What I would recommend is just go and check out similar websites to the one that you're trying to create and see what they're doing for their categories. And then we're also going to be using some of these categories here as our menu for the top of our website. So I'm just going to add a few of them. And the first one I'm going to do is destinations. And after you put it in right there, all you have to do is click on add new category. And then there it is right there. 
And now I'm going to add another one and put it as food. And now if you look down here, you'll see a parent category. And basically what that means is if you guys were talking about food in your post, but you wanted to, maybe you wanted to separate it by chicken or beef or anything like that, different types of food, you could go down here where it says parent category after you add your main category and say I typed in chicken right here. If I wanted that to be under this main food category, I'd go under the parent category and then I just select food. And so under the food category would be a separate parent category called chicken. So if I did that, you'll see that right there.